Welcome everyone to another episode in Planet Zoo. And in today's episode, we are going to address stress factors with our animals because all over the place, I have stress everywhere. And I know it's only showing right now one of them, but it is just happening constantly. Oh, we got a floating speaker here. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> All right, over here, my pronghorn are constantly in stress. So what we are going to try to do here is a change this glass to one-way glass. And then this also needs to go to one-way glass. And that will help quite a bit. Now the people will be able to see, but our antelopes, our pronghorn will not be able to see them. Social, what is, are you stressed still? You're stressed, but you're going up, you're going down, you're going down. Going up. <laughs> All right. Another thing that we can do here is also go into our facilities and go over here. And there should be some signs in here. Here they are. Do not disturb. Do not feed. So we're going to try the do not disturb signs. Telling people to be very quiet when they're over here. One of our bison just died. That's really sad. Okay. And where are you? And I think, I don't think we have very many bison in here. Let's see. Mr. Bison, you, is it you? No, you're okay. Oh, it's you. All right. We need to check on our bison. Uh, we might need uh, some help in here. Uh, bison. We have two animals here. They're both female. Okay, so we need to get a male bison in here. Let's go ahead and get a male bison. There you are. Okay, filter. And we need a male, please. Do you have a male? Oh, no, no males. Okay, and I'm also looking for male pronghorns, too. So, hopefully we will be okay in the meantime. So, uh, I do not see, let's go ahead and take a look at you. Are you stressed out at all? Okay, you're not stressed out at all. That one way uh, glass really helped. Let's go over here. These guys do not get stressed out at all, but every once in a while our aardvarks do. So let's go get our aardvarks over here and let's change this glass edit this barrier and I want to go ahead and get all of this please and let's change that to one more glass okay that should also help our aardvarks quite a bit and let's go ahead and put up a couple signs also Asking people to be quiet. They just stay a little quiet. My aardvarks do okay, though, for the most part, because they're pretty, they're, it's pretty big uh, little habitat. Now, over here, I believe we still have a few things to fix. That has not been researched yet. Okay. And this one right here we fix this layout that one's already done okay those are all finished perfect all right now the next habitat that we need to deal with is our giant tortoises and these guys get stressed out a lot uh, it's a walkthrough and people are very loud so what we're going to do here is first off we're gonna go ahead and put up some signs and see if we can get our crowd to uh, be a little bit quieter. Let's go ahead and turn that just a little bit. Mm. Okay. Yeah. 
And let's go ahead and get a couple more over on this side. Well, did you see our inspector was here? The inspector inspects our zoo. Okay, there. We'll put one here. And hopefully that... Oh, it did get quiet. Listen to how much quieter it is. Okay. Now, another thing... Oh, I guess our uh, Dahlia sheep are going to have a baby. Let's go ahead and see. Offspring is due August. Very nice. And it is February. So we've got a little bit of time. Back over with our tortoises. Another little thing that we can do to help them out, besides having everybody be a little quiet, we have, in our habitat, we have a cave for them over here. Uh, but when they move very, very slow, and a lot of times when they get stressed out, it is because they are clear over here. So let's go ahead and see if we can find a little uh, barrier for them. Let's see if uh, we can find something that's not huge because I don't want it to be absolutely huge. Oh, it's just these shelters. There's no shelters for the tortoise. Okay. Um, all right. So what I'm going to go ahead and do here then is I'm going to go ahead and make a little crawl space for them to go into. Let's make this pretty... So now there's a little hole here, so hopefully that will help our little tortoises have another place to hide. And I want to get rid of some of this long grass. And then I also need to check you guys and make sure that your terrain is okay. Is your terrain okay? Yep, you're fine. Get rid of that. Okay, alright, we're going to have some more babies. We're going to have some more babies. We have got in our little tortoises. Now, these guys live to 100 years old. So they live for a long time. And um, I need to get on the tr uh, habitat itself, please. No. Okay. How many do we have in here? We have eight of them in here. And we have some males and some females. We probably should go ahead maybe and get rid of couple of them. We only have two adults. These guys are babies, right? You are a juvenile? Yeah, you are a juvenile. Yeah. As soon as they grow up, we'll probably trade them out a little bit. But hopefully this will help them a little bit too when they're out this far. They can maybe come back behind this hill too if it gets too bad. So, that takes care of them. Uh, my grizzly bears, they do never, they never worry about, uh, they never have any stress levels. I don't know if it's the habitat. It's pretty good size. Uh, these people do stand up here and they are able to, um, go ahead and see them. So, and I did put in some quiet signs along here. Oh, do not feed signs. That's what I put in here because people kept throwing food at the bears and they do not do very well when they get fed well i hope that you guys all enjoyed our little episode here on how to reduce stress in your zoo i believe that all of those little fixes are going to help me out drastically i have not gotten one stress call and i constantly get stress calls so hopefully that will take care of all of our little problems. Please leave a like and a comment. Uh, I'd love to know what you guys think. 
Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We've got lots of work to do on our zoo here. And as you can see, it's coming along pretty well. I would love to have you come along for the journey. We will see you all back next time. Take care.